What's up everybody on YouTube, AJ Rose back here with another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make slutty brownies. Also known as Oreo brownies. Let's get it. Growing up in school and high school in general, people used to always sell these type of brownies at school and things of that nature. It's not too hard of a concept to learn how to make. I just wanted to share my own take on making them. I learned how to make them off of YouTube. So yeah, I love making Oreo brownies or slutty brownies, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, they're a wonderful dessert to have on a cheat day or even eat on a special occasion. So yeah, let's get into it. The ingredients that you'll need for the brownies are a box of Betty Crocker fudge brownie mix, Pillsbury cookie dough, and a box of Oreos. As y'all can see, I got a box of these special edition nba oreos because i'm an nba fan but it really doesn't matter what type you get as long as you get some type of oreos you know before starting the brownie mix i usually get the pan out that i put the brownies in before placing anything in it i'll spray a lot of pam spray to make sure nothing will stick none of the brownies will stick you can use pam spray or butter or anything like that just make sure you spray some type of margarine in it so it won't stick soon after that you'll get the pillsbury cookie dough out and then spread it throughout the pan and that'll be the first layer after spreading out the cookie dough i'll then start the second layer which is basically putting the oreos on top of the cookie dough once you get done doing these layers you'll then get a large bowl to put the brownie mix in and i simply follow the directions on the box the instructions say to simply put the amount of vegetable oil, water, and two eggs in it, and then just mix it. Once you're done mixing it, then after that, you'll just place the brownie mix in the pan for the third and final layer. By the way, it really doesn't matter if you make the mix at the beginning or after you put the two layers on the pan, as long as you remember to put the brownie mix on the pan last. When the brownie mix is on the pan on top of the Oreos and cookie dough, you'll simply put it in the oven. Off of previous experience and making these and watching YouTube, I'd say start checking the brownies around 30 to 35 minutes, but but usually they'll be done around 40 minutes. The temperature for the brownies will need to be at a temperature of 350 degrees. And one way to test that they're ready is by using a toothpick. I like my brownies fudgy, so they usually take the whole 40 minutes. When using your toothpick test, if you feel that it's still gooey, then it's not ready. But if it's at a nice fudgy texture, then you'll know it's complete. When they're ready and you like how they look, you can just simply turn off the oven and wait for them to cool off. Also guys, if you have any leftover brownies and you want to eat them at a later date, all you have to do is put them in a Ziploc or Zipper bag, and you can put them in a freezer. Brownies can last up to six months in the freezer, and whenever you're ready to eat them, all you gotta do is let them thaw out. You can let them thaw out in the refrigerator or even on the cabinet. So like I said earlier, I've been eating Oreo brownies or slutty brownies, whatever you want to call them, for years. In high school, people used to sell, sell them and all things like that. And they're just really good dessert. Whenever you're doing good on a cheat day or something like that, you want to eat something sweet, they're definitely good, easy, easy to make dessert. So I definitely recommend y'all eating this and making it and trying it out. Let me know what y'all think. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the video. Let me know if y'all try making some slutty brownies. Share with me in the comments down below how it went. It's definitely a dope dessert to make. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, I can't wait to eat these for sure. Gonna cut them up in a few and, yeah, dig in. I mean, there's nothing else to be said. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all those things. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Swaggy Rose. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate the support. We're almost at 800 subscribers. I'm gonna keep posting consistently. I'm gonna post some more food videos, all types of content. So, just appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all are doing well, staying safe, and take it easy for sure.